well, we've missed out on our uh, chats at the Blazing Stoke Academy this year, haven't we? Um, yeah, yeah. What was your reaction and and your the reaction of, of Angelo, of course, who works so incredibly hard uh, in, in the Blazing Stoke and, and Berkshire region to the news? And, and is it something that we're going to see uh, in that region uh, of adopting mad darts? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, An Angela does a lot for darts, and she does a lot, a lot for me. Um, I mean, she 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 was asked to to represent Mad Mad Darts as as one as one of the leads, but she works so so hard with 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 her work and that like she ain't, she hasn't got the time to do it, and uh, I you know I'd like us to get back 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 to normal and uh, I'll see you for a pint at the academy. <laughs> No, oh, hi Matt from the Weekly Darts Cast here. Um, we know what some darts players are like. They might be a bit too traditionalist or, or stuck in their ways, and they might look at MAD and think, "Oh, you know, gosh, should I get involved in that? Or, or what is that?" What would you say to them? Well, I say it's very difficult to change some people's ways, isn't it? And you know, I when when you think about it, I'll give an example. I've I've been at the top of my game for a long time, and maybe me changing with the times has kept me where I am you know I'm still quite popular on the exhibition circuit I can still play good darts my choice was my own choice not to go to the PDC at the time I wish you would have done but um, you've got to change with the times haven't you and you know I, I like I said earlier I wish I was younger and I could start again because when I first started playing there was not even any youth youth events I think that we had one one event in Stockport called the Stockport under 21s and you know that that was that was it, and the people were travelling from Leicester, from the Isle of Man, from South Wales, just to come then. So it needed something then. That was late seventies, um, but you know, if if they these people are stuck in the ways, are they missing out? So, uh, are you all set for Q school? Yeah, looking forward to Q school. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully this time around. And what or, do you make of the format? Okay. You've had it. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you make of the, the format if you've had time to digest that that was released? You know, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I had a quick look at it last night and it's a bit confusing. So um, Paul will have a look at it and um, he'll just go over it with us as regards to what we're doing, you know. But um, look, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, like the PDC are going to come up with some, they had to come up with something different because Q School couldn't keep going the way it was going. And especially now with COVID and, uh, and all the... Uh, the limitations that we are, are at with with darts, um, so yeah, yeah, it's a look. It's look. If you're good enough, you're going you're you're going to keep going on to the finals day. If not, then that's it. Like you know what I mean. Like so, we'll just keep. I can only play the game in front of me at any given time. Like so, I'll just keep playing until I can't unless I until I'm beaten, and that's the way I, I look at it. I, I don't look at it at three days of qualifying. For three for, to qualify for Q school, I'd see it as a dark match. I'd play the dark match and I'll move on to the next dark match. And I won't think any farther than the first game. You know, there's no point in saying, oh, if I get this far, I'll have, I, I'm in the finals for the last four days. I won't think like that, you know, because uh, Q school is a minefield. There are a lot of un, untapped talent at, at Q school. And I've seen it firsthand myself, guys that nobody knows anything about putting their hat in the ring like, well, these fellas can play darts, like, and just because nobody knows him, it, it doesn't mean like that he he's he, he should be just pushed aside. Like, it doesn't work like that. Not with me, anyway. I uh, just to follow up on 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 Q School. Uh, what do you make of that two stage uh, qualification process, which is in place? Have you had a chance to read? I know that's going to be something different because if you happen to qualify the first day and and you live a fair way away, you know what I mean. Do you go home for? four or five days and then travel back up which is extra cost again or do you stay the whole week well it's more than a week um i don't know how to make that really uh I've, personally i i hope i play in the second the second lot and, and and get a card so i haven't got to stay so long but um it it is what it is and, and that's the way forward i suppose that's, that's the the pdc way of looking at it so if they think it's right we got to abide by it <laughs>